guys, so today I would just like to talk to you a little bit about what to wear to an aerial class. Usually for aerial classes, unlike in pole, we actually want our skin to be covered. So I had people rocking up with like short pants and that to like a silk class and I was like, um, okay, <laughs> what's happening here? But yeah, people usually like assume, yeah, pole is pretty similar, that's what a lot of people say and it is related to the strength that we're using and the type of sport it is, but then at the same time, it's not when it comes to like skin exposure and that. So for aerial silks, this is really important to not get burnt because when we have moves where we like slide down a little or uh, where you just drop into a move and that, this might actually hurt your skin when you're like dropping into it too quickly or like sliding down too quickly. Yeah, you can get skin burns from that. And also when you're like on the hoop, you have like knee hangs or like elbow hangs and that. And just having that extra layer of fabric in between does make it feel a little bit more comfortable for you and also it protects your skin because yeah you've got the tape around which is like not the smoothest material too it's actually really good to have long pants and long shirts on of course it's really often really uncomfortable when you have like a long arm shirt on and you're just sweating because you can just constantly feel the sweat here which is why you will see a lot of people just wearing like a sport bra or like a normal top to an aerial silks or an aerial hoop class and this is fine as long as you're paying attention to what moves you are doing and how experienced you are when you're doing them. So sometimes there will be moves where you're using more so your arms. So when you, for example, in silks, do like foot logs or get from there into a straddle bag, these are like things that you can really often do without having much contact between your arms and the silks. So it's usually fine. So yeah, just check out the moves that you're about to do and pay attention to whether you will need a long arm shirt for that or not, or just ask the instructor if you are training in a studio. So another important thing is that we want our clothes to be really tight. So not just long, but also tight. For example, just like normal leggings, they are usually fine. So if you're wearing like long jogging pants or something like that, which are like loose here, it might actually get entangled here into the silks and in the worst case, it just tears or you won't be able to get out of it again. You're usually like, ah, oh, I'll be fine, it's no worries. But once you're in that situation, you'll actually start like panicking. So always try to stay calm, breathe, and focus on how to get out the best rather than panicking but just prevent that situation from happening by just wearing like tight pants and also tight shirts so usually with like tight shirts you can just wear a normal top usually they are tight anyways but yeah for like long arm tops i actually got some like these which are like onesies and as you can see they are like super tight and here another tip so it's really really good to just wear a onesie that you can close up it looks a little bit silly when you close it on top of the pants but if you do so below the pants like it just looks like a normal shirt that you're just wearing tucked in and when you have it closed in the silks won't be able to tear the shirt out of your pants because that's what happens a lot of times because you're moving so much in certain positions and then it's also the silks pulling maybe into a different direction so really often our shirts are just sneaking out like this and once they sneak out they're like more likely to get entangled there as well and they can tear quite quickly so in the end just to like not destroy your clothes just to not be in a situation where you just fully have to panic because you don't know how to get out of the silks because you're just entangled especially when you're higher just try to prevent this by just wearing the proper clothes another thing to pay attention to is the fabric of the pants if you're wearing pants that are like really slidey in that it might be depending on the material of the fabric that you're working on as well that you'll be more likely to slide down and also some leggings might have um, really really thin fabric so sometimes you get still burned through them so just be careful with that but usually if you just go for the standard ones you should be fine so another option that you could go for are actually like onesies that are just like full body onesies kind of so unfortunately I don't have any with like long arms because they're usually pretty expensive too I just got these uh, they were called like yoga jumpsuits but the downside of them is that they have short arms but there are also some with long arms you can probably search for long arm onesies or long arm full body onesies that's a long word one thing i've got to say is that they have like a nice fabric so i never had any issues with that and yeah it's really easy to put them up and down so even when you're going to the toilet you don't have to put your pants down first open everything up but you can just bring them down like anything else and yeah so it's pretty easy and we would also be wearing like sport bras underneath them and then you just basically take the top part off 
until here. So you just lower it down. So you're basically wearing them as pants and then whenever you hop on the silks, because of course first warm up, maybe some conditioning, so you might already be sweating. It's not the best feeling to have your clothes full of sweat from the very beginning. So you might just put them on as soon as you hop onto the silks and then depending on what you're doing, you might put an extra layer on top just to cover your arms or not. So I hope this helped to prepare you for what to wear to like your aerial classes. And if you have any questions, comments on that, if you have any tips and tricks on like where to get good uh, aerial clothes as well, because there are not that many aerialists out there, but actually it feels like there are a lot of them when you're like part of the community. <laughs> but then as well, when you look like at whole humanity, there are not many of them. So there's not much going on for aerialists there. And usually when you've got something, it's really expensive. So if you've got any tips or tricks, on like what to wear best and where to get things just let me know down in the comments below and i hope to see you next time